Hello and welcome to BlackWhoMinistries.com. I'm Minister Love and we have another great lesson for you on Jesus genealogy as we've been promising this year. Well, today is lesson number 11. And today, individual, we're going to learn about is Enos. Who in the world is Enos and what does his name mean and why is he in Jesus genealogy. Well, let's take a look at our very first scripture. We're going to go over to Luke chapter 3, and we're going to read verse 37. Okay, Luke 3, 37, and it reads, which was the son of Methuselah, which was the son of Enoch, which was the son of Jared, which was the son of Malaleel, which was the son of Canaan. All right. Now this scripture ought to be familiar with many of you because we've been here before. And again, I want to say is that remember some of the names that you may read in your Bible is not just one person. It could be two or three or four people with that name. This is why you need to read your Bible every day. So you get familiar with who are these people in the Bible, and why are they there? So again, uh, we're going to learn about Enoch today. So Enoch, what does his name mean? Well, how will this name fit in with Jesus? Well, you're going to love this one. Did you know Enoch means teacher or initiator or founder or an instructor? That's what Enoch means. So now that you know what it means, how can you see Jesus uh, related in this ancestry of Enoch? And we're going to focus on the on the word, on the meaning teacher. We're going to take that one, teacher. So isn't that what Jesus was? Isn't that what he did when he walked the earth? Didn't he teach? Didn't he preach? He was teaching even at a young age, at the age of 12. That's just how awesome this gift that he had is to teach. And we now are going to see why Enoch was in Jesus' genealogy. Well, the first thing we have to uh, uh, make a connection is we have to find this Enoch in the Old Testament. Well, let's go in the archives. I like to call the Old Testament the archives. If you want to look up your family history, let's go in the book of Genesis as well. Let's take a look at Genesis chapter 5. Okay. And we are going to read verse 22. Okay. And we're learning about Enoch on today. Now, there are two Enochs in the Bible. One was bad, which came through the line of Cain. And this, this one, Enoch, came through the line of Seth. So let's take a look at this Enoch. And Enoch lived 60 and five years and begot Methuselah. We talked about Methuselah before. Remember, he was the oldest person lived. And Enoch, what did he do? Walk with God. After he begot Methuselah, 300 years and begot sons and daughters. Let me just stop right there. What did it say? Enoch walked with who? God. And Enoch means what? Teacher. Now, if you're going to be taught by someone, you first have to be a student. And once you completed being a student and he's walking with God, you know God is teaching him some stuff. You know God is teaching Enoch some things that uh, his ancestors probably did not know. He had a personal walk with God, just like Adam did. Wow, this is amazing. And just like Jesus, can't you see Jesus in Enoch? Jesus walking with God, his father, and the father is teaching Jesus everything he's going to need to do when he get down here on earth. And he didn't stop teaching him uh, 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 in heaven, but when he got to earth, he kept teaching him as well. Look at verse 23. And, and all the days of Enoch were 365 years. And then 24, I'm sorry. And Enoch walked with God and he was not, for God took him. So I just wanted to go back and read that again. So not only did Enoch walk with God, but he had such a relationship with God that God didn't even allow him to see death. He just took him right on up with heaven with them. Wow, isn't that awesome? 
walk with God, not only do you get to walk with God, but you have to talk with God too. And so when you're talking and walking with God, I guarantee you're going to learn something. All right then. So there we have the Enoch established. We see the connection, but that's the same Enoch that we saw in Jesus' genealogy in the book of Luke. We're now seeing him over here in the book of Genesis. So the key word today is going to be what? Teacher. So let's take a look and see how the meaning of Enoch's name uh, fits in with Jesus and his father. Let's take a look at the next scripture. We're going to go now to Psalms. Let's go over to Psalms chapter 25. And we're going to read verse 1 through 4. Okay, and so this is a psalm of King David. And look what David says. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. You know, I, I like that right there, what David said, because David is letting me know when he said, I'm lifting up my soul to the Lord, he's getting ready to learn something. He want to learn something. When you, when you surrender yourself unto the Lord, you can be teachable. Let's see what David says. Oh, my God. I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. You know, when you have the enemies coming after you, you better be in a spiritual classroom so you can be taught spiritual warfare on how to deal with your enemies. You know, uh, if anyone's going to teach you how to fight the spiritual war, I thank God and Jesus and the Holy Ghost would be the best instructors or teachers. Let's see what David goes on to say. Verse, uh, verse three, yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. So David is saying that when I go to you, oh God, I'm not going to be ashamed. I'm not going to be ashamed of the instructions or the teaching that you're going to give me. Look what he says. Let them be ashamed, which transgress without a cause. So David is saying those that's uh, coming up against him without a cause, they're the ones that's going to be ashamed. Oh, here goes the good part. Remember, the key word that we're looking for is what? Teacher or teach or taught. Anything in that in that family uh, is what we're looking for. Look what David says, verse 4. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Here it is. Teach me thy path. Did y'all see that? David is now uh, at the presence of God, the Lord. He surrendered his soul. He said, teach me. So David wouldn't say, teach me, if the Lord was not a what? Teacher. You cannot teach someone if you're not a teacher. And David is seeing the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, Jesus' father, our father, and he's asking him to teach him his past. He want to know, God, how do you do it? How do you defeat your enemies? Show me your way. Show me your path. How do you navigate? And when, and when God shows us how he defeats the enemy, we can win the battle as well. Wow, this is good. So here is why we understand why Enoch is in Jesus' genealogy, because Enoch means what? Teacher. Like father, like son. Here, the father is a teacher. Well, let's take this to the New Testament. Let's go down to John. We're going to take a look at John chapter 3. Okay. John chapter 3. And I'm going to read verse 1, 2, and 3. And we're all familiar with Nicodemus. Okay, so let's see. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus a ruler of the Jews. Now, this was a very important man. He wasn't just some lay person. It said he was a ruler. Not only was he of the Pharisees, uh, but he was a ruler. So he had power. He had a very important position. Look what he did. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know did you see what Nicodemus said? He said, we. He didn't say, I know. So he said, we know, meaning that Nicodemus wasn't the only ruler or anyone else within the Pharisees. He wasn't by himself to know who Jesus is or was at this time. Look what he says. 
we know that thou art a what? Teacher. There it is. Come from God. Wow. Did we not see? Did we not uh, find out that Enoch means what? Teacher. Did we not see that Enoch walked with God? And God took Enoch? And look what Nicodemus is saying about Jesus. He said, we know you are a teacher from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. See, like father, like son. Did we not say that Jesus cannot do anything if his father doesn't have the ability to do it too? God the father is a teacher. Jesus Christ is a teacher. And we, you and I, are teachers too if we learn if we learn how to be students first. You got to be a student of the word of God. You got to be in this word every day. Be in the book every day so you can learn and then you can teach. All right then, that's going to conclude this lesson today on why is Enoch in Jesus' genealogy. Well, we got some scriptures to show us why, because he is a teacher from God. All right, then. God bless you all. We look forward to you being with us next week on lesson number 12 as we continue to find out who are these people in Jesus' genealogy. God bless you until next week.